What's up everyone? Chance here with Missouri Outdoors. It is April 17th and we are back out morel mushroom hunting. Today is the subscriber mushroom hunt and we've got one with us today so far at least. We got Kate over there. We're down here at the uh, John Alva Fuson Conservation Area and we walked into a patch I found last year. We got a nice one right here. Still pretty young, but good looking morel. And then we got another one. So just right here. And then we got a few over here under this one tree. This is probably the better of them. Yeah, that's a pretty good size morel, guys. And we got this little fella right here. And then we got a couple more. And then we got one right over here. But yeah, we're not doing too bad. Down here under this dead tree. Right on the side of the, at the bottom of the hill, right above the creek. But alright, we're going to get some of these picked and we're going to explore this hill out a little bit and see if we can't get a few more found. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we'll check this out. We've got five right there that you guys just seen and we was cutting the last one and I happened to look over and right there's another one not too bad not bad at all we'll add it to the file Alright, well we've looked this area over a little bit more since I got off with you last and that was the only other one we could find. So we're going to go ahead and take a hike up through here and see if we can't locate a bunch more. Alright guys, we're up here by this pond and we found another one. Right here under all the may apples. Real good looking mushroom. Ow. Under this big leaning sycamore tree. And if you go down here even closer to the water, we have another one down here. Not too shabby. We've already looked through here fairly well, and we're going to go ahead and go up and look in this area and see if we can't find some there. Ain't that pond beautiful? You might not be able to tell, but it's like an almost like blue-green color. But all right, we're going to get back to it. Hopefully we can find a bunch more. All right, guys. Well, we were getting ready to walk out and leave the first little area here. And we found that one. We're going to head back up to the road and we're going to head on down and check a few other spots right around here. And with any luck, we'll have better luck at the other spot. Get them big ones. Might try to find some. But all right. We're going to get on with it and see what else we can locate. All right, guys. Well, we've looked around quite a few spots and haven't had a whole lot of luck. So we may be about to call it quits here for the day, but before we did, I thought I'd bring you by and show you the Little Smittle Cave. I'll let you guys uh, take the time to pause this and read it if you want to. It is against the rules for us to actually go into the cave, but we can walk down and look at the mouth of it.
But you can call this, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a number there. And you can call it and try to get permission to actually go inside of the cave and take a look around. They close it so we don't disturb any of the natural resources. Look at the ferns just growing right out of that rock. And look at how clear the water is, you guys. Like it's almost like it ain't even there. It's definitely a big old cave. Okay, go over there and stand right in front of it. So we can kind of give them an idea of actually how big it is. Big. Yeah, it's a pretty big hole. I mean, and it goes quite a ways back in there. I wish we could actually go in and look around, which um, if we do our subscriber event here again next year, and I can get quite a few people that I know are going to come to it, I'll actually try to call and get permission for us to walk on in there and take a look at it. But I mean, you can walk up above it and around it. Me and my buddy Tyler looked for mushrooms here last year and didn't find any, but that don't mean nothing. Wouldn't it be something to look up and there's a big morel like right there off the edge of the bluff? But yeah, they got a nice little camping area right up here. You can come down and bring the family and spend the weekend and camp out. And if you call, you might be able to get permission to go in the cave. There's actually like two or three cave systems down here that you can go into if you call and get permission. But most of them are... This is like one of the better ones, at least I think. It's really pretty down here. I highly recommend you visit the area, especially if you live anywhere nearby. It's definitely got some cool aspects. But alright guys, that's probably going to wrap this video up. If you like this video, make sure to leave me a like, share the video out, and subscribe. Wave bye, Cade. Bye. Alright guys, have a good one.